Sunken Children's Perimeter Item Number SCP-1451 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1451 is contained in Area 15, located in the blank sound. It is surrounded by a sphere of wire mesh netting to ensure that no large objects enter the containment area. Access is to be denied to all persons attempting to enter, regardless of rank. SCP-1451 must always be submerged in water from the blank sound. Natural water currents are not to be obstructed, as that could potentially cause an ongoing Class 3 scenario. Guards are positioned no closer to SCP-1451 than the second barrier. During Class 2 and 3 scenarios, SCP-1451 must be remotely monitored. If any drastic change in behavior is noted, the director of Area 15 is to be notified immediately. No attempts to rescue items or personnel from SCP-1451 should be made. In the unlikely case that the blank sound begins to drain, Protocol Tempest is to be enacted. Description SCP-1451 is a set of metal statues, 26 in total, individually referred to as SCP-1451-1 through-26. All appear to be of children with heights ranging from 1.32 meters to 1.43 meters. SCP-1451 can be in three distinct states of motion, referred to as Class 1 through 3 scenarios. During a Class 1 scenario, no movement is detected. This state is ideal for containment. During both Class 1 and 2 scenarios, SCP-1451 are standing in a circle, each one grasping the hands of the statues adjacent to them and facing outwards. During a Class 2 scenario, SCP-1451 will animate slightly, shifting themselves with the apparent goal of counterclockwise locomotion. The hands on SCP-1451 will also raise and lower slightly during these moments. Bubbles can be seen emanating from the mouths as well. This state must be monitored closely, as it can transition quickly into a Class 3 scenario. When a solid object with a mass greater than 40 grams enters the center of the circle formed by SCP-1451, hereafter the activation area, SCP-1451 animate and attempt to destroy said object. This is known as a Class 3 scenario. Fortunately, small natural currents are present around SCP-1451, with the effect that small, light objects cannot enter the circle in the center of SCP-1451. SCP-1451 have shown remarkable strength and agility in this state, though the extent of these qualities has not been found. SCP-1451 have been observed utilizing multiple different tactics when neutralizing a target, including multiple martial arts forms, pressure point application to humans and machines, and highly coordinated teamwork. After eliminating and disposing of solid materials, SCP-1451 instances will return to their original positions and revert to a Class 1 scenario. SCP-1451 have ventured as far as 1.3 kilometers away from the activation area in order to neutralize a target. Attempts to intercept SCP-1451 between neutralizing a solid object and returning to the activation area have been met with what is referred to as a Class 3.5 scenario, where SCP-1451 will become hostile but instead focus on returning to their original position circling the activation area. SCP-1451 avoids attacking its separate parts, even if it would normally be motivated to do so. Overseer Clearance Required Partial Manifest of Recovered Materials Note: The full Manifest of Recovered Materials is in Document 1451-5-H12-8x4, One Damaged Scranton Box. Footnote: See Document N9Q-C66-VN4-AHQ4708. Scranton boxes are foundation technology, reverse engineered from, data expunged, in order to provide a physical container safe from most reality bending. Recovered document, see below. Approximately 20.9 kilograms of brick, scattered inside and outside. Approximately 4,000 kilograms of containment grade concrete. Recovered document. Note. The document was recovered from a Scranton box, though evidence suggests that the box did not function perfectly. Item number, S data lost, Ject class, Ket data lost, Special Contain data lost, Jers, SC data lost, Rhea 56, located at a depth of blank feet in the blank sound. Guards are positioned around the containment data lost, Tvils, armed with submachine guns. 
Outside of the preliminary containment is another room lined with SC, data lost, and three sniper positions, ensuring that the roof of Area 56 is never breached. Data lost. Concrete walls. S data lost. Contact data lost. Hibited. Except in special cases. Written consent must be obtained from Dr. Blank and the head of Airy, data lost. Instant reviewing of this docu, data lost. Year that it is not dest- data lost. Desk, data lost. Enchants and sapience. The reality, data lost. Not currently understood, as is the extent of the reality bend it, data lost. Though the orifices have been shown to have a profound effect on SCP- blank. Data lost. Oid. Subject, data lost. And data lost. Emitting small nondescript letters scattered throughout. Multiple paragraphs believed to have been lost. Data lost. Ndum 2. In light of INSA, data lost. Stendit. To which we believe the response was akin to laughter. SCP blank. Data lost. Or more, called agent blank. A child. Due to its nature, blank. May undergo physical and mental change. Data lost. Misconceives reality and changes to match its perception. If no attempt can be made to convince SC, data lost. Or wise, contact must be fully prohibited in order to stop it from altering reality further. Just the smallest misconception about its containment could mean an XK and a data lost, as it may already have. The metal and concrete room, containment, and agent, blank, may have already melded in its mind. The only way, data lost. Not the only one, data lost. These changes have already begun to occur. The three aspects, metal slash concrete, containment, child, are melding airy, data lost, head out, data lost, data lost, emitting small nondescript letters and phrases scattered throughout. Fully unredacted document is available. See document 1451-5-G93-1S2.